how much did you know about Aquaman and the world of Atlantis when you first uh, signed up and what inspired you? Nothing. I knew next to nothing about Aquaman before I signed up with Zack. But when Zack told me what he wanted and how he wanted to play this character, I was in and that was five years ago. And, you know, since then, you know, being in the, doing Justice League, which is just kind of like a weekend in Arthur's life, it's been awesome because James came in with so much passion, had the exact idea what he wanted to do. And it's big. I don't think we've seen anything like it before, so. Um, and what can you tell us about the Aquaman that we do meet in, in this new adventure? And without giving too much away, uh, what does he go through in the journey? You know, it's 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 the ultimate, you know, it's the reluctant king, and it's the man who's, you know, gonna take the long road to become king. I think there's a lot of things that I love about Arthur because we don't really see him as king until the last frames of this movie. So it's really about him becoming that. And you get to see him as a boy and what it was like and what it must have been like to be raised that way and also have those powers and not be understood and not know how to harness them. And then, uh, you know, through loss and trials and tribulations, he eventually, the people around him believe in him and he finally believes in himself. And Tell me about the experience of working with director James Wan. Um, what was your working relationship like creatively? It was super easy. James let me do my thing. I let him do his thing. He made a beautiful world in a, in a that's all you can ask from a director is to put up a safety net so that I can do things that he can pull it back or ask for more and just trust and, and, and trusting each other. So he pulled it off. Certainly did, yeah. um, and there's also some great humor in the film. What was it fun to to play uh, with that? And there seems a like nice banter between you and Amber. Absolutely, um, I love laughing, and 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 you know, I normally don't get to play those things, so um, I hope people like it and get the humor. And obviously, it worked with you, so hopefully, we just got a couple more million to pull off. And if they like it, then we'll do more, maybe. And you shot in some beautiful <laughs> locations along Australia's Gold Coast. Yes. Um, was that its own kind of adventure for you, and did you sneak away in your off time to take advantage of the stunning locale? I did, yes. I spent a lot of time surfing there, and so my family would go on little, little surf trips. And uh, But I, I actually used to live down in, in Australia for a little bit of time, so I love it down there. It's really the people that make that place super special. Um, and... What were your favorite moments or uh, most fun moments of the uh, filming? Um, I had an amazing crew in the cast. I think everyone watched each other's backs. And, and right, even to this day, I, I bring a, a fair amount of people from the movie with me on other shows. And so I probably met the most crew-based that I bring with me. And I just I love them and try to take care of them. And what do you hope audiences experience when they see Aquaman in the cinema? What do I hope they experience? Well, I think the only way to see this is truly in the cinema. I think the world that, that James created, it's a must to be, you see that on IMAX or see it on a big screen because it's just a big, beautiful world. You don't want to be watching that on your phone, man. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!